All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between George St. Pierre and Tony Ferguson. So here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a five-tool player. And he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, and the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open. And it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponents as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon. <laughs> All right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction. GSP, wildly popular, not just in his native Canada, but around the world. Many people, PC, believe, pound for pound, that George St. Pierre might be the greatest UFC fighter of all time. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. If there was an MMA Mount Rushmore, George St. Pierre would be on everybody's list of top five fighters of all time. Just an ability to mix everything together. He was truly the evolution of mixed martial arts and wrestling. Striking to the craft and decided that everything and did everything well, and it made the level of mixed martial arts raise because everyone was trying to catch GSG. And I got good news right next to him on that Mount Rushmore. Raise that hand! Come on, John, don't do it to Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. George St. Pierre is three years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. We go inside the octagon. Here's a veteran voice. Two of three rounds of the UFC. Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. P. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this country. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is double leg shots. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ferguson's now... So he postures up, nicely done. All right, 
And so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. St. Pierre's back in full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by St. Pierre. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech armbar now. Oh, nice job, Houston, and he's out. Seconds of round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, take a seat, buddy. Awesome round. Very, very close to finishing. I need you to stay a little bit tighter. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna call this. I mean, he's cutting down the side with a beautiful leg. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. Now he's a tight little triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Work here, staying busy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And he's back up. Punch coming, it's blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Oh, man, that was slick. St. Pierre's got the full mount. 45 seconds remain in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. Side of the fence. 
But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Next round is underway, and man, is that guy hard to submit. It looked like it was close, but close doesn't work in MMA. Almost doesn't count. And for as close as he was, he didn't get the job done. And again, that is because he's so good at defending submissions. If you're going to be a wrestler, if you're going to be a guy that engages a lot on the ground, you've got to be able to defend submissions. GSP gets caught with that punch. Superman punch. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. St. Pierre's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is, starting to bleed a little bit now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate with that. I mean, he is so sharp. Not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice kick. Oh, man, look at that. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position. Got another. Ferguson's looking for a dose joke here. Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ferguson. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And he's out. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, hammer fist here by George St. Pierre. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost arc in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity back. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good right hand. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight! All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance, maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get there. I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. Official decision now Ladies in. Ladies and gentlemen, after the three rounds, rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, Ferguson. Judge two scores it, 928, St. Pierre. And judge three scores it, 928, for the winner by split decision, George Rush St. Pierre! All right, well, congratulations.
congratulations to him there. And I think five years from now, they'll forget that <laughs> it was a split and not a unanimous decision. But that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight. And that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center not knowing if you did enough to get the job done. Fortunately, he did enough, and he got the victory.